Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to upgrade to the latest version of SKIC, which is the 1.71. Uh, there are two options. You can either use the installer or you can use the 7C or the 7SIP archive version. Uh, people have issues with the installer, so let's quickly try the 7Z archive version. Simply download it to your computer. And I've done that. It's right over here. And I'm going to extract this file and it should take a couple of seconds and that's done now let's go into the file and you're going to see a lot of folders so there's a data folder an src folder and a couple of sksc files you can delete the src that's something which is not required now what we'll do is we'll go into the skyrim folder i'm simply going to open the file location and right over here this is my previous skic loader and this is the version 1.6 as it says right over here now there are a few mods which actually require the newer version which is the 1.71 so that's the reason why we are mainly going to go ahead and get this upgraded so the first thing you could do is simply copy all the skic files from here and paste it into the Skyrim folder. You get this warning, simply copy and replace everything. Now that's done. Now the second part is the data folder which contains the scripts. Now you will definitely have a data folder in your uh, TSV folder here, which should be something like this into scripts. Now you can definitely do a copy and paste over here and replace everything. It should work fine. But for the previous version, which was the 1.6, I used a Nexus Mod Manager to basically have this installed. That's exactly what I'll be doing for this version too. It makes it much more simpler. So let's go into the Nexus Mod Manager and I'm going to search for SKSE. And as you see here, it says SKSE, SKSE scripts, which is uh, the folder which I created. So what I'll do is I'll quickly uninstall this. and it's going to get installed so that's done now in the meantime what we'll do here is let's go into the new folder let's see here. all right and what i'll do is i'll rename this folder to i'll make it skse scripts 1.7 there you go so that's done Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll simply add this to the Nexus Mod Manager. So I'll simply drag and drop this to the desktop. Close this, not required. Add. Desktop. I'll simply search for the file, which is this one. Scripts, right over here. Open. And it should go ahead and install it. In a couple of seconds. There you go, SKSC scripts 1.7. I'll double click on this one. So Nexus Mod Manager is basically installing the data files from SKSC. Click on OK. This is not required, but I usually like to do it. And all right, so you can either launch SKSC from here or I've created a shortcut. So I'll just use that one, which is essentially the SKSC launcher. Let's just wait for the game to load. First of the game is loading. In the meanwhile, while the game loads, uh, just in case you get an error or something like error code 1, which you might sometimes get with Sky UI, what you simply do is go ahead and reinstall the SKSE. You may want to try the manual version where you simply copy and replace the data files from the SKSC folder to your TSV folder and that should definitely work out. Alright, so the game's loaded and on the upper left that's good news. There are no errors so anything of that sort. Let's take a look at all right, Sky UI is working too. And if you take a look right over here on the left hand side bottom, it says SKSE 1.71. So that means this is working correctly. So
so well once again thank you so much for watching and have a great day thank you